Hi, I'm Kay James, your fave from the customer team here at Ambassador. And in an effort to build more community with our customers, we're back with another Community Corner session. I'll be answering some of the most common questions we see in the Ambassador community and the most common challenges users need help with. Today's topic is Envoy and why we love it. Let's dive in. Let's start from the top. What is Envoy Proxy? We mention it a lot when it comes to Edge Stack, so what is it and what's it got to do with Edge Stack? Envoy Proxy is an open source edge and service proxy. So in the words of Envoy's website, Envoy is a high performance C++ distributed proxy designed for single services and applications, as well as a communication bus and universal data plane designed for large microservice and service mesh architectures. So all of this is a fancy way to say that they took some inspiration from solutions like Nginx, HA Proxy, hardware and cloud load balancers, to create a proxy that is platform agnostic and has the common features of those other proxies. It was originally built at Lyft, but is now open source and part of the CNCF or Cloud Native Computing Foundation. So Envoy provides features like load balancing, resiliency features like timeouts, uh, circuit breakers, uh, retries, observability, and metrics. And it's also highly performant as well, so it can handle large volumes of traffic with ease. So hopefully that gave you a picture of how useful Envoy Proxy is. And we could spend this whole video just talking about all of the features and components that you can utilize from Envoy. But to keep it simple, Envoy Proxy is a tool that helps manage and secure the flow of data between different parts of an app, making it easier to handle and monitor uh, how apps communicate with each other. So Envoy is really, really great, but there are some things to consider here. Envoy can be quite complex. Setting up and configuring Envoy can be a big task, especially in large distributed environments. It requires a good understanding of networking, protocols, and microservices architecture. Um, and there can be a bit of a learning curve understanding how to configure and manage Envoy. So I went over to the Envoy documentation and just to pull up some examples of what this could look like. This is a minimal, fully static bootstrap configuration for um, Envoy. And you can already see there's a ton of lines here, a bunch of words that you'll have to learn what they all really mean. And this is just for the minimal, right? Like one route that you're, you're, you're creating here. So if you're gonna have multiples, maybe hundreds, um, you have a ton of services, this can get pretty big and complex. And you know what's cool about Envoy is that, yes, it supports static configurations, but it also uh, ha supports like gRPC, protobuf, API fashions to configure it, which makes it easier to manage at scale and helps Envoy better work in environments that are constantly changing. But in the end, um, managing Envoy configuration can be kind of a big task. It can be a kind of hassle and of course the learning curve, right? Of learning what all of this stuff means. So this is where EdgeStack starts to come into play. At the time of building EdgeStack, there were debates on what to consider as the core proxy. And we decided that the rich feature set of Envoy was the way to go with our API gateway. Envoy allowed us to quickly add support for GRPC, rate limiting, traffic shadowing, canary routing, observability, and more features. And in the cases where Envoy's feature set um, didn't meet those our requirements, like authentication, we've been able to bridge that gap and build out those features ourselves. So EdgeStack is built as a control plane for Envoy Proxy. EdgeStack translates CRDs, or custom resource definitions, into Envoy configuration. So you get to take advantage of Kubernetes scaling, availability, and using CRDs to easily configure Envoy, which handles the actual traffic going through the gateway. And this graphic here kind of shows you from a high level, um, what we mean by this um, control plane, data plane type thing. And with this, you end up saving the headache of maintaining Envoy configuration directly and can rely on EdgeStack to do that complex work behind the scenes. Still getting the great features of Envoy, but also getting the experience of optimized for Kubernetes. Let's remember too that Envoy is an open source project. So the community behind that is also something that EdgeStack takes advantage of. So I hope that gave you a picture of the relationship between Envoy Proxy and EdgeStack and how they work together to give you a great a API gateway experience. Um, and I hope you understand why we love Envoy Proxy so much because it has such a great community behind it and so many great features that also make EdgeStack a great um, project and product to use. 
So drop a comment below if you love Envoy Proxy 2 and visit getambassador.io to learn more. We have a ton of blog posts about Envoy Proxy. And there's a ton of information out there on the internet too that you can learn more about some of the features that it has. Um, personally, my goal is to spark discussion and talk with the community about what we want to learn more about. So please let me know um, what you're interested in learning more about. Uh, like and share if you thought this was helpful and we'll see you next time on Community Corner.